The Wolfpack 45 liter meal management backpack. Is this the perfect gym slash meal prep bag? I don't know, but I've heard a lot about these and seen them everywhere and I wanted to be like one of the cool kids. So instead of winning an overall at a show and taking one home as a prize, I plopped down 170 bucks of my own money. So let's find out if it's worth it. Darren Starr here once again, and today I'm going to unbox or unbag this 45 liter Wolfpack meal management backpack and give you my first impressions on it. This particular bag is the 45 liter nightshade edition meal prep bag, which retails for about 195, but with a discount code, you can knock 20 bucks or so off that price. The Wolfpack line has bags like this, their meal management line in 45, 35, 25, and nine liter sizes, and then regular backpacks in the same array of sizes that don't feature a refrigerated meal storage compartment. Right up front, this is not a sponsored video. As I mentioned, I bought this one on my own, so you're getting my totally unfiltered opinions here. Now, what I'm looking to replace is this guy. This is an Isopack from Isolator Fitness that I've had for a few years. You can read my written review on this guy on my website in the blog archive written back when people actually read and wrote blogs. It served me well, but it has some downside. Number one, the main storage area is just a giant hole and it's hard to find stuff in there. I use it primarily as a gym bag and while I can put some smaller things in the side pockets here, most everything else goes in the middle and it can be a pain in the to fish out what I need. And while I rarely use it for meal storage, it's very limited in that respect, as realistically, I can only fit like two meal containers in here, and those containers aren't very large, so for me, it really takes two of them just to hold one meal. I'm gonna be traveling in a couple weeks, and I wanted to take a day's worth of food with me, and also, with my new side hustle as a videographer and content strategist, as that picks up, uh, I plan on having days where I'm out on remote shoots rather than working from home and need a bag that can support me on those longer day trips. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Let's do it. Scissors. So this is a uh, fancy packaging, fancy bag here. Uh, it says, uh, never average, always a wolf. I tell you what, that right there, is kind of what kept me from buying one of these things years ago because it's this whole like you know be the alpha be a wolf kind of bull it's just it's so counter to my personality type we're gonna just slice this guy open and we have a bag within a bag it smells like you know it smells like a backpack i do like black never average always a wolf check out our loyalty rewards program invoice all right so here we go any uh, anything that i have to cut on this scissors almost dropped on my foot that's gonna be a problem no this looks uh all right so here we go this uh this is it mm -hmm. so nightshade edition meaning black on black on black on black i am nothing if not predictable so we've got a whole bunch of god it's gonna it's this thing come with a user's manual because i feel like there's enough straps on this thing I'm like you know what what the f is this for i have no idea what that's for why does it need these down here? I don't know. Uh, there's there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve associated with this, I think. So, um, boy, I don't even know where to start with this thing. Hold on. Ugh. This back compartment here does not go all the way through. We got a side pocket here. Is that big enough for a water bottle? Maybe. Probably wouldn't fit one of my shaker cups. I don't think. It is kind of elastic -y, but that's only going to give so much. Plenty of straps on this thing. Like, I don't know what I'm going to stick in here. These things, like, I don't know. It's symmetrical, so it's the same on both sides. I really have no idea what in the world this thing is for. Like, is this for, like, my skateboard or something? I have no idea. From, from the top here. Big bag here. Um, so this is where, uh, let's see, from the top here. That's nothing, that's sewn shut. So this is the, the large main compartment. You've got padded storage here for a laptop. Um, I could fit some laptop accessories, power charger, mouse in here, and then a zipper pouch. This is mesh here for, you know, stuff, you know, for all your CDs that you need to carry around or whatever. Again, gonna be taking this for travel. This will not be my only bag, but it will be my daily carry. So it's gonna have meals in it. I will have my laptop with me and I would like to carry some gym accessories as well. The real question that I have is, is this going to be acceptable for my typical day-to-day -day gym bag here when I'm at home as well? The ISO pack, while it does have just the giant gaping maw of the main compartment in there, I can fit pretty much everything in that, which is nice. It's hard to fish specific things out of it. This looks like it's gonna be a little bit more limited in what it holds outside of meal stuff. This is 
meal management bag, reusable ice pack. The thing about these is these um, bags that you fill with liquid and freeze, you're gonna have some trouble getting those through TSA at the airport. If they thaw out, they become a liquid. That's the problem. There are some, uh, I believe it was my ISO pack actually came with some um, that were filled with something that feels more like sand. Um, which freezes, it serves the same purpose, except then when it thaws out, it's still a solid. So that's gonna be much more TSA friendly. Um, this main package here, okay, so I see now these straps on the side are to restrict that from opening up too much, but you can open it up pretty far if you wanted to. So there's like a dual little mesh pouch in here, slightly larger pouch, and then you've got the larger cavity in here as well. And then this looks like it's the, uh, the back end of the front meal storage system there. Next up is this little half pouch. This is just like the upper half here. What do we have? We have some swag in here. What the? Make your mark in this world. Never average, always a wolf. This is like your lucky coin to flip or something. I don't know. Some kind of a uh, plastic wristband, extra zipper pulls, sticker, in case you need that. Um, other than that, this is just a small little pouch. Keys, wallet, phone go in there. Um, nothing too big. And then this is, yeah, I don't know, stick your pens here or something, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then the, the meat and potatoes here, so we can we can strap these things back up. You know, it's it's bigger than I thought it was going to be, just because when I opened it up from the inside, it really didn't look like it was going to hold that much. So this is three meals, which is sufficient. These are good size containers. I like that. So. Um, all except my last meal would fit in this. This looks good. Um, so it's got this little Velcro piece in here that um, this is an elastic strap that kind of serves as the upper limit for these containers. So if you're only carrying one of these, you can move this down lower and just strap the one meal in here that would still hold it securely. And then you can place other things on top if you wanted to, like if you wanted to fit a couple of shaker cups in here that don't have to be held down tightly or something like that. So I want to take a closer look at one of these. Aside from that, there is a little zipper pouch in here where you can stick utensils. If you have condiments or things like that, that can go in here. This is actually really nice. Um, the thing about the isopack that really bothered me, the compartment was small, like on, on a pack of this size, it was really just about this bottom section right here and everything else sat on top of it. So it was a removable insert that you could pull out, but when it was in, the weight of everything on top of it would just squish it down. So even though it was gonna take up a certain amount of space, uh, it was always taking up less space than that. It was hard to fit meals in there just because the thing lacked structure. It was really kind of difficult to use for that reason. So let's take a look at one of these because the build quality on these things really matters, um, these containers. And it looks like they're pretty standard size. I like the depth on these. Like this is really, like these things are not shallow. Um, I've got some of the old isopack containers here. The one thing about the isopack is it came with a bunch of containers. So it came with, you know, one or two like this which are okay, that's still, you know, not quite as deep as the Wolfpack container here, but also the Wolfpack has locking lids and this just has a lid that sits on and doesn't even really snap shut very effectively. So like, I would absolutely not trust this thing to hold tight under any circumstance. Kind of a piece of shit, really. Um, and then it came with smaller ones as well. Like, what the hell are you gonna put in this? Like an ounce of almonds or something? I mean, I, I don't understand the utility in something like this. This is kind of middle of the road. I guess this would work for a lot of people's meals. Um, for me, none of my meals would fit in that, so whatever. Um, this, however, this looks solid, but the build quality on these is just so important. So, ah, uh, smells like plastic. Kind of like the, uh, the smoke colored tint on that fits together nicely. It doesn't really give you a very satisfying click lock. When you lock it shut, like, eh, kind of weak. But nonetheless, it still feels shut. So I can't complain too much about that. This is good, this, this will work for me. Um, so those three fit in there. You know, you could potentially even, there's, there's space in here. You couldn't fit a fourth one of these, but I could if I needed to take one of these smaller isopack containers that I have, and it would fit in this space up here. Um, or, you know, where are you gonna put the, uh, the freezer pack? I mean, you could put the freezer pack in this front little zipper pouch here. Um, there is enough room, like there's enough room for this to breathe. If you lay this down flat, you could just put your freezer pack right on top of that and then shut it up like that too. You could put it above in this space here. You've got a lot of options. I think one pack would probably do the trick. I'm pretty happy with that. I think, I think that'll do, do the job nicely. We will see how it works in practice, of course. Um, but conceptually, I'm pretty happy with that. The reservations that I have, where is everything gonna go on a daily basis? Like what I might have to do, and this might end up just working out really well for me, is pare down the amount of 
that I take to the gym on an average day. Um, Cause currently, if we look in this ISO pack, this is a big can of worms right here. Extra shirt from today. This is my travel bag, <laughs> my, my extra toiletries bag, which in here I have any number of things. I have lifting straps, I have knee wraps, I have my own little single handles that I take to the gym with me because I don't want to touch anybody else's. I have wrist wraps, I have ankle cuffs. These are old ones that need to get thrown away in actually. Um, so I've got all that stuff just in this separate little bag. This is the stuff that I'm into most commonly. So I like to keep this separate so I can just pull the whole bag out. A ton of bands, my new ankle cuffs, which are big and bulky and don't fit in the toiletry bag. I got headphones. I got a nasty shirt from probably three weeks ago. Oh God, another nasty shirt from three weeks ago. More bands and my own locking collars, which realistically, I mean, I don't need to carry these around with me anymore. So <laughs> can probably pare down a lot of this crap and just take the essentials with me. And realistically, like these ankle cuffs, there's one day of the week where I need to take these with me and I can just leave them at home the rest of the time. Um, the bands, um, I think at this point, I'm really only using two of these bands for my warm up routine. So I can probably pare that down a little bit as well. So I think it'll work and I can still fit everything in here. I think I'll be able to travel well with this. The laptop will go in here, the iPad as well, if I wanted to. So I think I'll be in good shape with this. So I will um, be curious to see how it works in practice and I'll start using this tomorrow. Um, I also take with me um, a gimbal for my cell phone because I'm a dork. I take an action cam, a GoPro-like camera with me as well, and some other stuff. So there's a lot. But I think there's a space in here for most of that stuff. And it's a little bit more compact as well. The one, the one thing that I really like in a bag that this does not do is does not stand up well on its own. So you put this down somewhere and it's gonna need, you're going to need to lean it up against something. That's a small thing, but it's not nothing. We'll see how it goes. I will, uh, I will keep you posted. Um, watch the shorts on my channel and I'll, I'll give an updated review of this a week or two down the road and let you know my initial thoughts. And then also I will be doing a travel vlog once I hit the road and go to Oregon in a couple weeks and I'll keep you all posted and you'll see me wearing this thing on that trip as well. So questions, comments, do you have one of these bags? What are your thoughts on it? Pros and cons, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Check you out next time.